putting together the 71 Camaro and decided I needed a little bit more carbon fiber. Something from Anvil Auto showed up today. I want to show you. Let's get to it. Today's video is brought to you by Lethal Garage Synthetics. If you guys didn't know, I've been an Amsoil dealer for over six years and personally run Amsoil products in my car from engine oil, trans fluid, rear gear, brake fluid, etc. Have it all, even their coolant. And if you guys are looking to change your oil or change any of the fluids in your car and want to look for the best product available, hit the link down below in the description. You can sign up as a preferred customer, save 25% off on all of your orders. And on top of that, you can get free shipping. So check it out, hit the link below, and let's get to the video. What's going on guys? Matt over here, Lethal Garage. And today I got a, got a big bike. Look at my boys. Not dress, Ryan's still in his pajamas. But that doesn't matter because I'm excited to open this. So I'm gonna walk you through why I got this, but let's unbox it first and then just go from there. But just know it's carbon fiber and it's gonna look awesome. So here, I'm gonna hand the camera to Zach while I unbox this. So as you can see, I got the carbon fiber Anvil Auto Splitter. This is the 50-50, so it's carbon fiber on the top and fiberglass on the bottom. So it actually looks like it's mostly carbon fiber, right? Maybe this is all carbon fiber. Maybe, uh, I don't remember which one I ordered. Did I get, it looks like I got the pure carbon fiber one. Okay, sorry, I had to run out to the garage and grab this piece. So this is the OER aftermarket replacement front splitter. It's made out of a composite, it feels like, some sort of like rubberized hard material or it's either some sort of hard material coated with some sort of rubber dice. And you can see it, it comes unpainted and I talked with Eric and I was like, do I really wanna spend the money to sand this down? One, the cost of this item, plus sanding it down and then painting it black or doing something like that to maybe pop and look good on the car or did I want to go with something that came glossy carbon fiber that's already going to match the accents of my car. Now, as you guys know, I have the Anvil Auto carbon fiber hood and I painted most of it because I didn't like the mat, sorry, cameras. I didn't like the massive just ocean of carbon fiber across the front of a second gen. It's just, it's a huge hood. It's a lot of carbon fiber and I just, it felt like too much, but once I covered most of it and just left the cowl exposed, I was like, man, did I cover too much? Did I, did I make a mistake? Well, I'm gonna show you what this looks like in the car when I reveal the hood, because I'm literally working this weekend to put together the whole front end, get the nose back lined up, get the LED headlights on, and just get it all done in this lower splitter. But I'm super pumped to put this carbon fiber lower front splitter because I think it's just gonna set it off that much more and look so clean. I know my buddy Mike on his 68 also has a carbon fiber front lip. I don't know where he got his from, uh, but I really love the look of it. He doesn't really have any other carbon fiber on his car uh, and I just it just really stands out. So I think this carbon fiber front lip is gonna just help set it off. Like I have the carbon fiber inset bezels around the headlights, I have the carbon fiber cal hood i have the carbon fiber door handles the spoiler the rear view mirror and what else do i have the the carbon fiber radiator cover not like you're going to see that when the hood's closed uh, but it's just tasteful carbon fiber here and there around the car so i think this is going to be one of those things that just really sets off and i'll say it does look like matt got all of the design cues at least you know so all the curves and shapes seem to line up and match Unlike some aftermarket parts, he's got the holes pre-drilled, so it goes right on in. It just looks so clean. So, and then the other side, the difference on Matt's is his closes out. So if you look on the edge on this one, it's just the lip that comes around and you won't actually see this um, on the car per se. It's kind of just wraps around, whereas on Matt's, it's actually closed out, so it gives you a nice complete look 
going into that wheel well. So really excited to get this on the car. Again, can't wait to show you guys how the car looks fully complete, uh, but that's my early Christmas present to myself. Uh, again, I'll put a link down to the product. He offered, if you don't want full carbon fiber, but you like the look and the style, they offer an unpainted version. They offer, I believe the full carbon, the partial carbon, and I think they might offer the matte car. I don't, don't take me, I, I don't know. I'll just put a link down to it. You can see all the options they have for the cars, but I think it looks really good. So, and it's for the cost, like the price of this is not that bad. If you consider the fact, if you're gonna buy the OER and take it down to someone to have it sanded, because this isn't perfect out of the box. This definitely has to be sanded. Um, you could see some of the mold marks in it. Uh, wasn't super happy about that and it, this, the quality is not great. It's just gonna fall apart like you can already see it got nicked and scratched This one definitely can also get nicked and scratched. I mean it is carbon fiber I'll probably have it PPF wrapped just to protect it, but you know That's it. So it, it's I think it's about the same cost if I was to buy this over again Have it sanded have it gloss black painted or whatever color I decided to do I'm pretty sure the cost would cost as much as the carbon fiber version of the splitter from Anvil Auto, or you know, maybe 50 bucks, but you get a sick carbon fiber splitter. Like, I, mucho better. So that's my take. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, see you on the road.